YouTube and welcome to another Doctor Who product review. Today I'm taking a look at the recently released 10th Doctor Collector set, which is one of the free exclusive sets to B&M that's just been released over the past few weeks. This is the only one that I'm getting, as all three figures and sides are variants to what I don't have already, and all the others are just pretty pointless and a waste of money to me. So yeah, let's take a look at the box. So at the bottom we have the BBC logo with the 10th Doctor's dates, 2005 to 2010. Then we have the name of the set being the 10th Doctor Collector set and the includes being the 10th Doctor with two adipose, Sarah Jane Smith, one Cyberman. At the top we have the 50th anniversary Doctor Who logo. The figures themselves are displayed quite nicely, so if you're a box collector you might actually quite like this set. At the top we have the Doctor Who logo and the same things repeated once again. And at the bottom we have the company information there. At the sides we have includes and then we also have some images of the figures in this set And then on the opposite side we have all three of the figures together out of the box Taking a look at the back it's basically the same thing that we've seen before We have the Doctor Who logo with the includes there And then we have the three figures available in this set with the Doctor's dates along the bottom with the 10th Doctor one highlighted So here we have the figures out of the box Now first off all of these figures have been released before technically just with a few tweaks here and there Which is lucky for me because although I've been collecting since 2006 all three of these figures are actually ones I missed out on so I'm guessing that might be the idea around this range that they're releasing some of the rarer ones again as especially the adipose those are quite thought after on eBay and I've collected Cybermen and not once have I came across the arm gun Cyberman in any shop and this is the first ever time I've actually seen it in person so first off we have the 10th Doctor now this is a series free sort of tweak we've not technically seen this figure before it is the same sculpt but the spiky hair has been updated to the more better sculpt as a opposed to the original 2006 version which as I said this figure follows the same sculpt as the original version so therefore all the detailing has been passed off. Taking a look at the shirt first as you can see this has been done very nicely it's in the blue colour as seen in series 3 and some detailing has been given to this. As you see down the middle we have the additions of two buttons that have been fastened and what I do really like is the bottom two buttons haven't actually been fastened at all and we just have the different detailing of the slits there that where they would be fastened into. So that's nice and once again accurate to the series. I do really like the way that the creasing has been given to the suit, as you can see the buttons sort of crease around that which is really nice. On the right hand side we have the addition of a top pocket, and then we also have the addition of the lower pocket. And on the left hand side we have the addition of just the lower pocket. Taking a look on the back of the suit, the same detailing has been given with the pinstripes. We have this piece here that I guess is sort of like a back belt in a way, but as you can see once again the creasing has been given to this. Which arms have been done nice too, the same sculpt as the original with the blue and the pinstripes there, but we do also have the detailing of a lot of of creasing. See the same there applies for the other arm. The right hand has been sculpted in a open palm position. The left hand has been sculpted to hold the sonic screwdriver which doesn't in fact come with this set. Going down to the legs as you can see they're the same blue and have the same pinstripes as the actual suit itself. Once again these have been really well done with the creasing and things added there and I do really like the way that it bags over the shoe at the bottom much like how it does in the series. At the bottom there we do have his Vans style of shoes. Now I really do like these as you can see at the sole at the bottom there we even have the detailing of the blue line and things and the thicker sculpt towards the tip of the shoe and then the sole piece which is white and then we also have the addition of the really bright white lacing as well. We really like the way that the detailing has been made to actually have the sculpting of the lace dangle down. Then applies actually for the opposite side of the shoe which is really nice. Taking a look at the head, this is the new sculpt as you can see it's been really well done with the spiky hair much like how it was on the end of time version. I do think that this sculpt is by far superior compared to the original which is great that they've included it and it would really be nice to have a glassless version at some point in the future. Quite a good resemblance to David Tennant, I do really like the additions of the lines around the face and mouth and then I also like the additions of the Adam's apple there on his neck which is really nice. The glasses have been done really well, I do think that they're definitely improving the glasses sculpts much like Brace while they were really 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 thick but these have been done really really well as you can see they are actually clear and they do have the black rim lines around them which is really nice and they do rest on his face quite well actually and quite naturally but I and then taking a look at his hair as you can see it's got a lot of creasing lines on there we do have the sticky out piece at the front there which is the separate piece glued on but as you can see the brown paint apps have been done really really well really nicely around the back there we have more lines and things making it look very very realistic going over the articulation now as this is the original 2006 sculpt it is pretty basic the head would move but mine's actually really stiff i don't know if that's an occurrence on all of the figures but we do have 60 at the arm bend at the elbow 360 at the wrists if forced and then we also have the leg articulation of upper leg out and then we have 90 degree at the knee as well so yeah it is all right but one thing that i have noticed is with all of these figures the legs are actually rather rather floppy 
Doing a comparison now, as you can see, this figure is pretty much a bit of a mix and mash of the other figures that have been available so far. So we have the Series 3 blue suit version there with the older head, which as you can see, the new one is by far superior. And then we have the glasses head, which was seen originally in the Eleven Doctors collector set. So yeah, this is quite a welcome addition to the collection, but it really would have been nice to have a sonic screwdriver with this figure to complete the look, especially since the hand is sort of sculpted for it, as it just sort of completes the figure really. But I guess if you're a Doctor Who fan, you will probably have a spare sonic screwdriver lying about. So now taking a look at the Cyberman, once again, another quite old sculpt actually, it was one of the first figures released in the original wave, but this one does have a few little adaptation things, but I do actually think this one looks slightly shinier than my other ones, it might be because it's actually a new figure, but it is a welcome one to the collection, because hey, you can't have too many Cybermen, can you? So taking a look at the head first, as you can see, I love these figures, the, the, it's been done really well, much like how it is in the series, it's got all this panelling on at the top there, the handles have been done really well and other ones that have been released like recently did have quite warped handles for example the series 6 onwards figures so i'm really glad that that has been fixed in the packaging as the handles did have a lot of space but as you can see going around we have lots of different paneling on the head there really really well done we have the addition of the cybus industries paneling there which i do really like once again this has been actually etched into the plastic it's actually rather 3d going down the paneling has been done nicely it sort of stretches around the figure i do really like the tubing there as you can see we have the tubing that goes underneath the paneling which is really nice. I do really like the way that this piece is actually raised up, so it physically looks like that these wires are underneath the sculpt, which is nice. As always with the original, he does have copyright stamped on his backside. And down to the arms, he's been really well done with the additions of the screw detailing there and the handles as seen on the side of the arms. So applies to the opposite arm, we have the handles there, and as we reach the sort of joint there, we do have the addition of the panelling and the wires once again, which is nice. The hands have been done incredibly well, as you can see they are silver, they look pretty blacky on camera, but yeah, as as you can see these have been done really really nicely you have the detailing of the ridging on there very very well done and then even a bit of detailing on the inside of the palm which is nice opposite hand is sculpted in the fist position because of the arm gun which is really nice and once again as seen in the series of all the different paneling and things on there which is great and then we have the all important arm gun now i do believe that this was a addition for the series 2 final i don't believe that they were actually in the original age of steel cybermen but yeah it's a nice addition as you can see not really much to talk about to give it a totally different release but yeah as you can see we have the paneling and things there we have the gun piece that's raised and then at the very tip we do also have the addition of the barrel there of the gun going down we've seen this all before we do have the rather weird nappy effect with the panel there and then we have the additions of the wiring once again once again though even though we've seen this before it's still as brilliant as the last time we have all the paneling and things and the ridging and the screws and then the lines there on the joints going down to even more paneling at the bottom really brilliantly done and then same applies to the back, but the wires are a bit more exposed there, which is nice on the sort of grating panel on the back. And then we have the shoes there with the paneling on and the bridged piece at the bottom. But what I do really like, and I always have liked, is the addition of the grating at the very bottom of the figure, which is nice. I don't know why, but this is even not visible, but I just really like it anywhere. To articulation now, if you don't know this by now, I think everybody has a Cyberman, but yeah, 360 at the head, it's sort of on a ball joint so it can sort of pivot as well, which is really nice, and then we have sort of the arm thing, it can move out as well, bend at the elbow, 360 at the wrists, and then we have this sort of weird ball joint at the legs as well, which let it turn out and things, which lets him march and then bend at the knee, and then we also have the 360 at the boot on a ball joint, which means you can sort of make him walk and march, so you can make him go, hmm. In giving a comparison, this Cyberman fits in really well with the other 7 billion Cybermen that I've sort of collected over the past few years. These are the ones that aren't corroded, these are the nice shiny ones, but yeah, I really do like this figure and I do like the finish of this one as it does seem to be a little bit shinier than the others. I don't know if that's because it's newer, but yeah, my others seem to be sort of quite a matte colour, but this one is very, very shiny, much like how it is in the series, so I do really like that if that's a new change. Now moving on to the Sarah Jane figure, now this is my personal main reason to buy the set, I don't actually have this figure and I've really really wanted it ever since its release. I do believe that this figure was originally released in a 2 pack, this figure and Rusty K9 and then I do believe it was released again with a standard cleaner K9 and then it was further released in a companion set exclusive to Tesco but by that point I already had of the other ones so i couldn't really buy that set so yeah i've been wanting this figure for quite a while so taking a look at the body this is the one obviously i've seen in school reunion below we have the addition of the pink shirt which is nice there is unfortunately a few little marks below mine but as you can see it's been painted nicely we have the additions of a few creases 
The main black jacket is nice, we have the collar in there and these little stitching lines and things and the addition of two little buttons. To the side we have the addition of a pocket there with a little line dangling from it, really nice detail on that. Leading around to the other pocket at the other side as well which is identical to the other. Taking a look at the back we have more creasing lines and things there. And then the arms have a few creasing lines on and then just then to the bottom of that we have the addition of three buttons as well. Same applies for the opposite side of the creasing on the arms which is great. The right hand has been sculpted in the open palm position and we have the addition of a little silver ring there which is nice and then the other hand is sort of sculpted in a holding hand so if you want to to hold something you can and once again we have the addition of a silver ring there trousers follow the same sculpting detail as other figures so as you can see these are sort of jeans so we have the addition of the detailing at the top there and the stretching lines around the buttons which is nice at the back you have the addition of the pockets and things and a few little light blue paint apps on the creases to make them look a little bit more like jeans and then at the bottom she's wearing some black high heel shoes as you can see the trousers sort of come over these but we do have the addition of the heel there at the back same applies for the opposite shoe but as these are high heels she is sometimes a little bit hard to stand much like most figures with high heels moving on to the face now they have sort of got Sarah Jane's likeness there played by Elizabeth Sladen rest in peace um, but yeah they have been done sort of okay I do think there could have been a little bit more detail on these but bearing in mind that this was one of the original sculpts once again I'm guessing it would have improved by now I guess if it was re-released with a new sculpt but as you can see it's been all rightly done we have the pink lips there which have been rather bright I guess and then we have the eyebrows and things the eyes have been okay the addition of a few pink lines have been added to these to make them look a little bit like makeup I guess a few in the shop did look a little bit ill so I am guess these figures can be a little bit hit and miss so yeah I would definitely recommend going in and having a good look at this figure specifically it has been also done really well this has been differently done to the Sarah Jane Adventures figures which I will come on to in a little bit but as you can see we have the brown there and quite a glossy light brown paint app added over the top which is really nice and we have the additions of the curls that at the bottom this leads of the shoulders there and as you can see at the bottom of Eva's shoulder we have the additions of the curling hair which is nice and also I do like the addition of sort of the different strands at the top much like how it is in the series itself. Articulation to the figure is pretty standard have sculpted head articulation but unfortunately due to the hair it doesn't really move too much at the arms we have the movement at 360 and then bend at the elbow as well and then we also have 360 at the wrists and then we do have 360 at the waist also bend at the leg and bend at the knee which is nice so overall sort of quite average no bar joints or anything but this was one of the original sculpts so it is okay in a comparison with the other Sarah Jane figures available I would definitely say the Doctor Who one that I've been reviewing is definitely a lot more superior than the Sarah Jane adventure line of figures themselves I did think that the Sarah Jane actual line of figures did sort of decrease in detail a little bit although it does have a little bit more articulation as you can see the Sarah Jane Adventures line do actually have the upper leg articulation so I guess they are more improved in that respect but yeah overall I think I like the actual Doctor Who one more and then finally taking a look at the adipose now I had the idea to stick them onto a ruler because they're literally that hard to hold and review at the same time I would literally just cover them but yeah as you can see They've given two in this set, which the adipose are actually really rare. I've already got some in the collection, but yeah, they are really nice additions, and I can add them with the rest of the adipose family. So yeah, they've included two, which were the two original sculpts for the adipose. We have the cute one waving, as you can see, he's very cute. And um, he has a little hand there with the addition of the fingers on and things, and he has his little eyes and things. I do like the addition of the black and a little bit of white in there for the reflection, and the sculpting of the mouth there, and a the little dip to include the tooth, which is really nice. So yeah, really good detail. And we have the little feet there as well really nice they're literally little blobs of fat what else can you say and then the other one is the in the standard sort of walking position which is really nice back at claymore shows the brush strokes as you can see for some reason these two have sort of been given a brown brush of paint i do quite like that actually i think it works pretty well as you can see there on the back and things it does work quite well and adds sort of like not weathering but a bit of effect to the figure finally giving a comparison this is possibly the weirdest comparison i've ever needed to do as you can see they're fitting really really well but you can clearly see that there has been a change in paint apps with these two new ones as you can see they're a lot sort of dark grey compared to the original ones if you're wondering why I've got an odd number it's because I actually got them off little bulks of three in eBay so yeah it took me quite a while to pick these up as they are actually fairly expensive because they are the little things and they are quite rare so yeah they are overall really nice and I love the adipose figures
But overall for this set, I actually think that it's really good. For the $12.99 price tag, you literally cannot go wrong. If you don't have these figures, this set is really worth it. Or if you just like me have been collecting them for years and you just so happen to miss out on these free figures like how I did, this set is pretty lucky because a Sarah Jane figure was quite, once quite rare. The Adipose were quite rare as well. And it's also nice to have this new updated version of the 10th Doctor as well. And as I said, the Cyberman is really good too. So yeah, that's really it for this review. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, please do give it a big like and please subscribe if you're not already if you have any questions please do leave them below and i'll be sure to answer them at some point in the near future thanks again for watching and i shall see you all next time so yeah thanks for watching and bye for now